Rainforest Landscapes, Drawing and Adding Your Animal. If you'd like your animal directly on your landscape, you can use paint or marker. If you'd like to cut it out, you can use paper, scissors, and any drawing materials you'd like, like colored pencils, markers, or crayons. First, you wanna make sure you did the project from last week. If not, go back. First, I will show you how to draw your animal directly onto your landscape. I'm showing you how to do a snake, so if you are one of the kids who picked snakes, this is how you can draw one. I'm using wide smile shaped lines, sort of in rings going around the tree. Now I'm doing little bumps on the side to show that the snake has form, is 3D and wrapping around the tree. I added a curved line for the tail, and now I'm adding the head at the top coming out from the side of the tree. I'll show this one more time if you'd like to see the directions on how to draw a snake when I show you how to cut it out. Now I'll show you how to draw the same snake on a piece of paper to cut out and add to your landscape. So I'm sketching the size of the tree first. That's important to make the snake fit. Doing those same wide smile shaped lines. And then I'm going to add those little curved lines for the tail and then connecting the side lines with a curved line sort of like the letter C in a backward C. Now I'm adding the top and having the snake's head peeking out the side using sort of an oval shape for the snake's head. It's up to you how your snake looks depending on which snake you're researching. Now I'm going to carefully cut out the snake to add to my picture. I'm cutting around first to get an easier area to cut and then slowly cut, cutting around the edges, making sure I follow the line that I drew. It's a little tough to cut out tiny details like the tongue, but I did my best. And there he is. I would color it first if you're gonna do it this way. If you're gonna draw right onto your picture, you can use markers or paint. I'll show you both. I'm starting with marker because you can paint over pretty much anything if you use tempera or acrylic paint, not watercolor paint. So I'm showing you that you can use marker in case your background was marker before. And after that, I'm gonna show you how you can paint right on top of marker two. So I'm really painting over marker, crayon, and watercolor paint in the next video. I'm adding two different colors of green to add a little bit more 3D texture and space. I'm using yellow and blue tempera paint here first to create some green for my snake. Tempera paint is the same kind of paint we use at school. It is opaque, meaning it is not clear like watercolor paint. So it will paint over anything. You can also use acrylic paint, which is similar, it's just not washable. I'm using a small brush because I created a small animal. created green for my snake and then I'm going to wash my brush and use a tiny bit of red for the tongue. So there they are. I added a little eye to the painted snake and you can see that the painted snake is already on there so you don't have to do anything else. Um, the other one you'll have to glue or tape on there. But the benefit of cutting out your animal is you can move it around and decide where it looks. You could even cover mistakes with animals. Bye. There it is. I can't wait to see yours. Please share it.